Hi, this is Stu with STAC. We're going to show how to attach a hydration carrier onto a Bore Series chest rig. First thing when you get it, you'll notice it's got two sleeves that are buckled on. On the inside of the pouch, you should have one waist strap with a piece of Velcro in the center. It's dual adjustable on both sides. And you'll have two little Velcro belt keepers with hook and loop on both sides. Pull those out. First thing you want to do is take your bore and your padded harness. This will only work with the padded harness, not with the regular straps. They were out of a multi cam on our thing. You need to remove whatever, whatever sleeves and the shoulder straps from the bore itself. So you'll pop those off. You'll remove off whatever sleeves were on there. You're going to take off the two buckle hanger sleeves and you're going to put these on the padded harness with the buckle facing the rear. And these, it's best to put them all the way up to the very top until they start hitting right in the radius. They can be adjusted down if you need to run the hydration carrier up higher. Run this one all the way up. Push on the back, make sure it's engaging into the Velcro. Once you have that done, then you can go and put whatever sleeves you currently had on there before. They won't be able to sit as, as high, so if you had this rubber one sitting all the way up, it's going to have to sit a little bit lower. We'll go ahead and put those back on. Put that bad boy on. And this is another way of getting the sleeves on. You can use the webbing itself to block the Velcro or your fingers, or squeeze the padded harness in half. Then pop it back out and it'll engage the Velcro. Then get the straps reattached to the back panel of your bore. This is a Wishy A1 6 mag that this harness and hydro are on. So it should look like that with both the buckles facing to the rear. And you're going to remove the waist strap. Set that off to the side, and you're going to use the supplied waist strap that came with the Hydro. You'll want to put this back on, get it adjusted, just like you normally would with the other one. You want to have the Velcro in the center, and that will made up the Velcro in the center on the back of the hydration carrier. There's the webbing here. The Velcro will engage in there and keep it from moving side to side, and then these little belt keepers are going to weave into the, the palace channel to lock the belt into place. Now let's get that loaded up for adjustment. We're going to bring in our star employee. It's the one that doesn't talk back. Get this chest rig put back on. We'll go ahead, we'll get our hydration carrier plugged into the buckles, maybe. Let that thing kind of naturally droop and then you want to take note of where the waist belt meets up with the webbing on the back. On this one it's going to hit the lower two. So after knowing which one it works with we're going to pop this back off. We're going to put the belt on the lower two. Engage the Velcro and we're going to take these little belt keepers we're going to put them into the webbing. We're going to go through a full two channels. Fold it over itself, engage, and keep the belt. And at this point, it's a good time, we know it's going to be adjusted, right? To take and spin these around. It's kind of a pain. This way, it puts the Velcro opening on the inside, so it can't open up on itself. 
do it the other side the same. We'll spin it around. Maybe. Alright, now your waist belt's attached. If you have room, you can put it on the inner, on the outer ones or on the inner ones. That'll keep your belt from pulling off. That the Velcro will keep it from shifting side to side. And we'll load them up. We'll zip this bad boy up. Maybe. Now you have a properly mounted hydration carrier. Hard mounted down onto the waist belt and up with the buckle sleeves. That's it.